I think there is a lot to do about e-safety uh, because uh, the only people that usually deal with this are IT teachers and of course they have a very limited amount of students which means that the majority of the school, the, the whole community, doesn't really know much about e-safety. Well there is no uh, national campaign or national um, um, program uh, for e-safety but there are several um, authorities or several uh, communities that try to uh, make e-safety better in Holland, like Kennisnet and uh, the AVS. Uh, Norway was one of the first countries to introduce digital literacy as one of the basic skills uh, in the curriculum in 2006. Uh, and just now in 2012 the um, framework for basic skills were revised uh, and digital judgment as we call it is um, e-safety as we call it here. Uh, is one of the dimensions in the framework. So that means that all teachers in Norway are obliged to teach uh, e-safety to their students in all uh, subjects. I like very much uh, everything that is related to social media because that's where the students are now. And I think that presents uh, major challenges. And related to social media, of course, also cyberbullying. That's an issue, and sexting, that's also a big issue nowadays in our schools. And most of the times teachers don't know how to deal with that. My plans are to make this a little bit more public, not only with my students and my classes, uh, but also if the other teachers are interested in, in learning something, or if they need my help in any lessons or any projects that they want to have with, with their students, of course I can help. Well, there was... Uh topic about cyberbullying, I learned a lot there, and uh, that the copyright and plagiarism is, is a point we should uh, look into because it's, it's something that is, uh, that is a problem also in Holland. For me it has been useful to be here even though so this is my field of work and I, I am uh, responsible for the whole uh, e-safety um, field. Uh, but just being around teachers that are in the classroom and hear what their challenges are. Sort of teachers need um, recipes for how to do things and lists and, and that's one of the things I think we're going to try to do with you decide also make it as easy as possible for teachers to use in the classroom.